Shumai boys back. It has arrived. Amsterdam, second edition. A moment to ponder. We interrupt this blog with a news flash. The Celtic shaman is prevaricating, dithering, dallying, to continue with the journal entries or to try and write from memory. I read over the journal last night and it is dry and self pitying. It is helpful to me to see the mindset and to see how far I've come. Insight is a wonderful thing. I've come to view this period between my first blown mania and now as the transition. A transition from one life into the next, from one womb to the next. I was shoehorned out of the first one and like most other unenlightened and unconscious souls, packaged, boxed and barcoded out of the ludicrous education system we have in this country and sent out to a life of wage slave misery. So now I know that I've been in prison three times, school, work and prison. So I need a break. I've taken a break. I'm transitioning from caterpillar pupae to middle-aged butterfly. Whoever is left out there in cyberspace, thank you for hanging in there. The book Amsterdam started off as a blog, published first in 2013. I've self-published it. I've just had my author's copy. Uh, what I would like to say, so I need a break. I've taken a break. Well, the break has lasted 19 years. So I've been unemployed. I'm unemployed. I think I'm unemployable. And I'm one of these freaks of nature who chooses not to work. If you've had your freedom taken away from you because of your mental health, and you feel that your mental health was compromised because of your work, you are in no mood to return to work or work in its conventional sense. I've done plenty of volunteering in the last 20 years. But volunteering doesn't pay the bills. And what I'm seeing on social media is that people are saying uh, those that choose not to work. I don't have a problem with people who choose not to work. It's the government who pits the worker against the non-worker because of this Victorian system where the government who takes your money, the taxpayer, keeps telling you that it's your money that is going to support people who choose not to work. More people would choose not to work, if not for this divide and conquer. Anyway, enough for today. Deal.